I'm Andres. And I'm Kristen. And welcome back to AO Kids Sunday School Live. Live. We're so glad to see you here another week. Hey, I don't know about you, but I really want to play a game of bubblegum. That's right. This is a game I used to play back in elementary school and after school care, and I just love to play. If you guys don't know how it works, just watch. And you know what? We might ask you for some help, all right? Here we go. So put your hands here. My hand is busy right here, so I'm using my chin. There you go. It goes bubblegum, bubblegum in a dish. How many pieces do you wish? Oh, pick a number. Hey, can you help me think of a number? I choose seven. Seven, that's such a big <laughs> number. What, do I start here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Oh, it landed on her, so she got her hand out. She only has one more in. Are you ready? Bubble gum, bu bubble gum, bubble gum in a dish. How many pieces do you wish? Guys, what should I pick? <laughs> six? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no. All right, we have one, two hands left. I'm going to use this one just to do a thing. You ready? Bubble gum, bubble gum in a dish. How many pieces do you wish? Come on. Quick, quick, 17. One, oh. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, no. 17. No. I win. And I lose. Don't worry, because the fun is only gonna keep on rolling. So why don't you guys get up, get on your feet, and let's praise, praise and, and worship. worship.
Praise God. Hallelujah. Hey, Andres, I think we should go over a little recap of last week's lesson. That's right. Last week we had such a great lesson. And if you guys missed out on it, don't worry. Just grab your notes, grab a pencil, and let's go over this one more time. Yeah, you're going to want to write this down. So number one, healing is activated through faith. Number two, Jesus did so many miracles on earth to show God's power and glory. And number three, we should always be thankful and give praise to God for everything that He does. Amen. Man, I love last week's lesson, but I miss Nazareth. Oh, I know. I miss her too. I'm giving her fist bumps. But if you want, we can hit it. Hit it. <laughs> anyway, today we have a whole nother topic and we have a whole nother person. So what are we talking about today? Today, we're going to be talking about how Jesus promise, promises us a helper. That's so good. And actually, we have a friend named Avril who's going to help us out and give us a little video. So why don't you take it away, Avril? Hi everybody, my name is Avril and today I'm going to be teaching you guys verse. It is John 14, 27. It says, I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give you is a gift that the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. So what this verse means, it says, I am leaving you with the gift, peace of mind and heart. And that means that he, God gives you peace. So when a hurricane comes, and everybody's like, ah, there's a hurricane. And everybody asks you, why are you so calm? There's a hurricane outside. But you say, God is with me. So you don't have to be afraid because that hurricane is not going to come to us. And the rest of the people just like go crazy when a hurricane is outside. But it's good that you stay calm because if you go like worried and a lot that faith that you used to have with god is going away right um and so over here it says i give is a gift and the world cannot give so the world cannot give peace because the peace of god stays there forever but the peace that the world gives you can take away so yeah and he says also in this verse so don't be troubled or afraid you cannot be troubled or afraid because if you're afraid and everything then also the faith goes away so it's better to stay calm believe in god and always stay calm and have peace in you Wow, thank you, Avril. I absolutely love that verse. That was so, so good. Actually, so good. I want to go over it one more time. Yeah, so let's go over John chapter 14, verse 27. Here we go. Repeat after me. Peace I leave with you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world. I do not give to you as the world gives. Gives. Do not let your hearts do not let your hearts be troubled. Be troubled. And do not be afraid. And do not be afraid. That's in John 14, 27. So good. So good. But we have a little video that's going to explain so much about someone we call the Holy Spirit. That's right. You know, this verse is Jesus before he leaves this earth. You know, this verse is literally him in the Bible talking about how he's going to leave us the Holy Spirit. But what is that, you may ask? Kind of, I'm asking the same thing. But, you know, why don't we just look over here? These are the apostles. Hello. They followed Jesus during his time on earth. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told them to stay in Jerusalem until God sent the gift he promised. See ya. So after Jesus went to heaven, the apostles stayed in Jerusalem along with the other people who believed in Jesus. One day they were all gathered together when there was a sound from heaven like a mighty windstorm. Whoa! Then what looked like flames appeared and settled on each of them, and everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. 
the Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in other languages, and so they started speaking. At that time, there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. When they heard the loud noise, they came running to see what it was. What's going on? When they saw the believers speaking in their own languages, they were shocked and amazed. Hey, do you hear this? They wondered, how can this be? These people are from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages about the wonderful things God has done. What can this mean? Nah, whatever. But others in the crowd didn't believe that it was really a miracle and thought the believers were just acting oddly. Nah. Then Peter stepped forward and shouted to the crowd, Hey, all you! Listen carefully, all you! He told them that they were not acting strangely, but that this was from God. He reminded them that God said this would happen long ago. Then Peter told them about how Jesus was crucified, but then raised to life again, just as God had said he would be. He told them that Jesus was now in heaven and that God had given the Holy Spirit to them as he had promised. Peter's words changed what the people thought and felt, and they asked, Brothers, what should we do? Peter told them, Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Wow! Peter continued to preach to the crowd for a long time, and those who believed what Peter said were baptized. 3,000 people were baptized and added to the church that day. Then all the believers listened to the apostles' teaching and practiced what they taught. Hey! They met together in fellowship, shared meals, and prayed together. They were amazed as the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. All the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. Here you go. Take this. Ah, oh, thank you. They helped those in need. Here, this is for you. Thank you. Worshiped together at the temple every day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy all while praising God and enjoying each other. And each day, God added to their fellowship those who were being saved. Whoa! That's so cool, you know. When Jesus was talking to his disciples, you know, keep in mind, they were best friends. Yeah, one of my favorite things about Jesus is that when he was here on earth, he wasn't just a teacher and a mentor. He was also best friends with his disciples. Do you think that they hit it? Hit it! <laughs> probably, or it's probably something else. I don't know, but you know, Jesus and his type was—they were tight. They were like a like a squad, you know. You you know, when you have your squad, all your friends around you, like your circle. That was Jesus with his disciples, and not only that, but you know, a disciple is somebody that follows Jesus. You know, as the church, I like to think that we're all disciples in our own way. Yeah, that's right. And so Jesus grew so close to his disciples that he wanted to make sure he left his people a part of him. So when Jesus died, he wanted to leave them a little gift so that he can always stay with them. That's right. And you know, Jesus is so good that he gave this gift. And you know what it's called? What's it called? The Holy Spirit. That's Whoa. what today's lesson is about. And so the Holy Spirit is, is, you know, just gave it to us. And it's not something that we can hold in our hand. It's not something that we can, like, you know, I don't know, um, drink or something we eat. Can it's we something... hug it? Not really. It's something that's already inside of us. No way. That's right, because God works in this crazy way called the Trinity. Maybe you've heard about it. It's kind of like one of those really Bible words. And is the Trinity, like, made up of one person or two people, or how many people is the Trinity made up of? Well, let's think about it. A unicycle has how many wheels? One. One. And my bicycle has how many wheels? Two. So a tricycle is going to have? Three. Three. So guys, wait here. Watch this. Okay. Whoa. I got it. So check this out. This is the way that God works, right? So imagine this is God water, holy water, right? Living Imagine this water. water is like the essence of God. It is God, right? And I have three different cups. This one says the Father, and the Father 
has some of this god water, and the Son has some of this god water, and the Holy Spirit has some of this god water, right? And you know, all of them are three separate cups, but inside, it's all the same water, right? Whoa. So in the same way, God is like three different people, but at the same time, all the same person in one. Kind of like, like, you know when you eat a pretzel and there's like three parts? That's why I, I like to think about it. I love pretzels. And it all tastes the same. That's right. <laughs> and it all tastes the same. That's, what's your favorite type of pretzel? I think my favorite type of pretzel is the one with like caramel on top. Mm. Mm, my goodness, the salt and the caramel. Yeah, my favorite. But personally, I love cinnamon, cinnamon oh, pretzels. Yes. Those are like when I go to the mall and I walk by, I'm like, Mom, can we get one? Yes. Anyways, so as you guys can see, all of these have the same water. Which on is the God's inside. water. Mm -hmm. But, but they're all three different cups. And the same way, you know, today, you know, we're always talking about God. We're always talking about, you know, Jesus, which is the Son of God. But, you know, we never really talk about the Holy Spirit. And why do you think the Holy Spirit is so important? Well, there's a number of reasons. And now if I were to just give you a couple, number one, he corrects you from right and wrong. Oh, and also the Holy Spirit helps you pray. Mm-hmm. And, you know, third... He guides you in making important decisions. So, you know, let me just elaborate on that a little bit. Let me just tell you because, you know, the right and wrong, sometimes it's it's like, you know when you get that little feeling inside of you when you're like, you know, you're mm. about to do something, but like, you know, you shouldn't. You know, that's the Holy Spirit tugging at your heart saying, you know, this is wrong, you shouldn't do this. This would not make God happy. It would actually make him sad. And, you know, the Holy Spirit is there always as a reminder and as, you know, as our friend, as a part of God inside of us. Yeah, like, you know when your mom tells you not to eat that cookie, mm -hmm. but then you're, like, looking at it, and you take a bite from it, and then she asks you, who took a bite from this cookie? <gasps> and you have that feeling in you where you want to tell her you did it, but, but you don't want to, so you're lying to her. Oh, but no. you feel so bad for lying. That's the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. telling you, hey, you shouldn't be lying to your mom. That's right. Also, he helps you pray. So, you know, when you close your eyes and you want to talk to God, the Holy Spirit is there. You know, you can, if you want, you can even talk to the Holy Spirit, like, Holy Spirit, help me. Help me make this important decision, which is like point number three, right? Yeah. Right? And, you know, what kind of important decisions are we talking about? We're talking about, you know, you know, Holy Spirit, you know, lead me, guide my path. Should I go this way? Should I go that way? Should I be friends with this person? Should I stop talking to this person? Should I, you know, do my homework? Should I not do my homework? You know, all kinds of important decisions, you know, they all come down to, you know, trying to trust and listen to the Holy Spirit inside of you. Yeah, it's so important to listen to the Holy Spirit because He's going to guide you to make the best decisions. And not only make the best decisions, but He's going to bring great things your way. I can't even imagine the amount of times that the Holy Spirit has helped me through so many things. Like, for example, uh -huh. there was this one time where I was taking a test and I was stuck on this question and I was like, oh God, please help me because I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this. And then all of a sudden, I felt God and the Holy Spirit tell me to stay calm, to have faith, and to trust in God. And next thing I knew, my teacher came up to my table, and she helped me with the question, oh. and I didn't even have to ask her for help. That's it was the Holy so Spirit good. who guided my teacher to come and help me. But wait, I have a story too. So let me just tell you. One time we were in PE, right? And you know, the coach, coach makes us run miles and miles oh all the gosh. time. So tiring. Uh-huh. And you know, one time the coach said, All right, kids, go run your mile. I'll be right back. I think you have to go to the bathroom or something. And so he goes, and then all the kids are running the mile and they're like, hey, you know, all of us, we're just gonna cut through the middle of the field so we don't have to run that much. And, you know, I was running, and, you know, the sun is beaming down, and I'm hot, and I'm sweaty. And, you know, I'm looking over at all these kids going as fast as they can across <laughs> the middle of the field. And, you know, you know, I'm like, wow, you know, that's, that, that seems so smart because, you know, they're saving energy. And, you know, who's going to find out? But, you know, you know I, as I was thinking about it, I felt the tug in my heart saying, you know, Andres, you know this is wrong. Don't do it. And, you know, I didn't do it. I was like, ah, oh, you know. God, and then so I kept <laughs> running and I kept running and you know, I, went, I had to go all the way along around 
back towards the fences and around Whoa. back. And all these kids were already done with their mouth, you know, already getting to play with the balls. <laughs> but you know, I was there and I find, and but at the last second, actually right before the kids came back, coach came back out and he saw everybody that was running right across the field. Whoa. Right? And everybody, and for me, since I obeyed and I went all, all the way around at the time, Everybody that ran across the field had to do four more laps. No way! And so the Holy Spirit saved me from probably breaking my legs or my legs falling off. The Holy Spirit had your back. That's right. <laughs> well, I actually have another question about the Holy Spirit. Uh-huh. So does the Holy Spirit live like in a hotel or something? Or like, does, is he your neighbor? Or, or does he like live in like your house in like the guest room? Or like, where does he live? No way, you know? When we accept Jesus in our hearts, we're also inviting the Holy Spirit to come live oh. inside of us. You know, I always like to think of it like right here. You know what I'm talking about? Like in your stomach? Yeah, but more like in your heart, right? And you know, that's where he lives, that's where he stays. And you know, that's, just think about it. If he's there, then he goes with you everywhere you go, right? Yeah. So, you know, even when you're sinning, the Holy Spirit is right there with you. You know, even when you're, you know, maybe watching something that you shouldn't be watching, or maybe when you're, you know, saying stuff you shouldn't be saying, the Holy Spirit is still there. And no matter what, you know, the Holy Spirit is, God is still gonna love you, the Holy Spirit is still gonna be there for you, but you know, keep that in mind that you know the Holy Spirit and God only want the best and righteous decisions from you. Yeah, so you're telling me that the Holy Spirit uh -huh. lives inside of me, That's right? right, uh-huh. So he sees everything that I do? Mm -hmm. You know, the Holy God in the Bible, it calls the Holy Spirit our advocate, right? Mm. And you know, what does that mean? That means that he's out there. An advocate is somebody that goes out and you know, tries and do the best and say the best and, you know, advocate and, you know, push, kind of push for somebody, right? Mm. And the Holy Spirit is there pushing for us. Oh, amen? So, amen. So whenever, whenever the Holy Spirit, you know, you feel inside of you, you say, thank you, Jesus. You say, thank you, Jesus, for this opportunity that, you know, I have the Holy Spirit to guide me, to feel that love and to show love to others. So the Holy Spirit is our best friend. Mm -hmm. But don't get it confused. Because the Holy Spirit is not inside of everyone. Wait, so you're telling me if he lives inside of me mm -hmm. and he lives inside of you, mm -hmm. he doesn't live inside of other people? Mm, not really, because unfortunately, not everybody has made the decision to accept Christ into their hearts. Oh no. And you know, it's, it's kind of rough because sometimes you'll be in school or you'll be out at the mall and you know, you see people doing all of these really bad things and you say, how can they possibly do those things? How could they even find it in themselves to, you know, hurt another person or punch somebody in the face? And you know, when, when you know, when, when to you, it feels like you have the Holy Spirit inside of you, but don't forget, not everybody has made the decision. But the good news is it's never too late. And making this decision is probably one of the best decisions a person can make. I mean, who doesn't want to have an, someone advocating for them? Who doesn't want to have Jesus living inside of their heart, protecting them, loving them? Who doesn't want the Holy Spirit to always be with them, guiding them, and helping them with their test questions? That's right. Well, let me just tell you, you know, it's never too late, like I said, and anybody can do it. And you know, it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how young you are. It doesn't even matter, you know, if you don't really speak English. It doesn't really matter if you don't really speak Spanish. I don't speak Spanish that yeah, well. Yeah, because God knows every single language. Mm -hmm. That's so crazy. Hola. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> so, you know, all that stuff doesn't matter. All that matters is that, you know, Actually, it's pretty simple. Is if you say this one simple prayer and you mean it with all of your heart. And you can do it right now if you repeat after me. No way. Mm -hmm. This prayer is called the prayer of? Salvation. So if you want to do that prayer, if you want to accept Jesus and the Holy Spirit into your life, why don't you close your eyes, bow your head, and repeat after me. You say, Dear God. Dear God. I come to you. I come to you. Asking for forgiveness. Asking for forgiveness. Of my sins. Of my sins. Jesus. Jesus. 
Come into my heart. Come into my heart. To be my Lord. To be my Lord. And my Savior. And my Savior. Thank you. Thank you. For dying on the cross. For dying on the cross. For my sins. For my sins. I believe. I believe. You raised from the dead. You raised from the dead. After three days. After three days. And I can see you. And I can see you. One day. One day. In heaven. In heaven. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hit it. Hit it. So we went over a lot, a lot, a lot of things. And you know, you guys might have heard the Holy Spirit a lot today, but I want to go over it one more time. Yeah, so you're going to want to write this down. Mm -hmm. So number one, the Trinity consists of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the, number two, the Holy Spirit corrects you, guides you, and helps you pray. And number three, the Holy Spirit lives inside of those who accept Jesus. Amen. So if you made that decision today, we're so happy that you're so proud of you. And we want you guys to click that button on aomiami.org if you're watching this and say, I made that decision so we can get started on this journey of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And right now, you guys are, you guys already know, you guys are seeing a number on your screen and you guys already know. You're sending it's time those for questions. some questions. If you have any questions about today's lesson, just go ahead and send them in and we'll answer them for you. All right, all right, all right. We got a couple questions going in, but here we are. You ready? Number one, since the Holy Spirit lives inside of me, does that mean God is always with me and I can always talk with him? Yes, of course. Yeah, of course. It's so good that, you know, the Holy Spirit is in there with you at all times, you know, no matter what. And, you know, you can just speak to him and, you know, know that God is with you. Yeah, God is the best listener and he'll listen at any time of the day, even if it's like 2 a.m. All right, here we go. How do I know if the Holy Spirit is talking to me? Ooh, that's a good question. Well, in order to know if the Holy Spirit is talking to you, you need to know who the Holy Spirit is. Mm -hmm. And how can I get to know the Holy Spirit? Well, I can get to know the Holy Spirit by reading the Word of God, by Amen. getting to know God. Because the more I read the Word of God, the more I know the character of God, the more I know how God would make decisions. And that's how I get to know how the Holy Spirit sounds. That's right. And I just want to add that, you know, if you ever feel like there's something telling you to do something bad, like something telling you to, you know, go punch that kid in the face, or, you know, you, know, you should say lies, you should say lies, or you should, you know, her that's other not the Holy Spirit. That's uh, not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will never, ever do that, you know? And reading the Bible is important because you know that these things, you'll learn that, you know, that's not the Holy Spirit, but, you know, you will learn that the Holy Spirit only does love, only love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. Those are the fruit of the, the spirit, spirit, right? So when you have those things in your heart, you produce those things in your life, like fruit, like how a tr tree produces fruit. Pick it. Eat it. And people can see all of that love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. If you guys want, you should memorize that. It's a really, really good thing to know. And number three, why did Jesus leave the Holy Spirit and not just stay on earth to live with us? Hmm. Well, that's a great question and it's pretty simple. Jesus, you know, he already completed his purpose on earth. He already came, lived out a perfect life. He died on the cross for our sins. He rose again and, you know, he decided that, you know, his best decision to go up and he ascended into heaven to be with his father again, right? But that doesn't mean that he left us completely alone. He left us the Holy Spirit, our advocator, our friend. And, you know, it's always set so that we have a part of Him inside of us. We have a part of Him available to us at all times. These are great questions, guys. And you know, do you hear that? You know what that means. It's game, game time! time! I want you to keep in mind, right, that even though we can't see God, we still have to listen to His voice, listen to the Holy Spirit, and go in the direction that guide us, right? Yeah, and we have to trust it. So, if you trust me, I'm gonna blindfold you. Okay, here we go, are you ready? Mm-hmm. You know, why don't I just... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, now, hold on, I wanna make sure you're not cheating. Oh, my God. Yeah, Perfect. trust me, I can't see anything. Perfect, you oh. sure you can't see? I'm positive. All right, made it nice and tight. Okay. <laughs> so, here we go. 
So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna set up a whole little obstacle course and you can't touch the ground and you have to make it to the end and the end is gonna be the chair but you're not gonna be able to see it. Are you ready? I'm ready. So we're gonna make it up right now. Are you ready? So I'm gonna yeah. take you to the start. She's gonna be on top, on top <laughs> of the bean bag. So just step onto the bean bag. There you go, you're stepping onto it. All right, yeah, get comfortable. Okay, here we go, you ready? So using, oh using only my words and my direction, she's gonna try and get across this without looking. <laughs> Are you ready? So first, you wanna you just kinda turn your body towards me first, towards the sound of my voice. Yeah, okay, okay. And now, reach down in front of you. A little bit lower, lower, lower. Right there, right there. Okay, now you have to climb forward. Climb forward on top. <laughs> and then right at the edge, you can just dive forward. There's gonna be, there's gonna, you can just dive forward. Go for it. You can send it completely. Just, just fall forward. There you go, there you go. There's a square there. Don't touch the floor, don't touch the no. floor. Don't touch the floor. <laughs> Just get on the square. Just get on. There it is, you got it, you got it. Okay. Okay, now. Okay. Okay, now without backing up, stand up. Just stand up, stand up straight. Perfect, you're doing great, you're doing great. Okay, now turn your body a very, very little bit to the right. There you go, wait, wait, wait. Okay, now a little bit back to the left. Okay, now take one step forward, one big step forward. Perfect, perfect, you're on the next square. Okay, okay. Now, we're gonna do a little bit of math. You take like one baby step forward also, just directly straight, yeah. There you go, okay, now turn left 90 degrees. Let's see if she knows her angles. Oh. <laughs> okay, now turn, turn, turn right a little bit more, all right, a little bit. Wait, 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 there you go, stop, okay, so. Your right foot is kind of like looking straight. Okay, perfect. So take take a regular sized step forward. That was kind of a small step, but okay. <laughs> All right, come on. Forward, forward. Okay, forward more. Forward more. Forward more. Okay, wait, wait, you're, you're, you're leaning left. Go, go. Just move your body like physically to the right a little bit. No, 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 don't turn. Just move, move right a little bit. Okay, okay. Now this is the hard part. Oh no, this has been hard. <laughs> this is the hard part. So, Kristen, <laughs> watch out. <laughs> what was that? That must have been the camera or something, no. I don't know. Okay, so, so face, face your body towards me. Face your body towards me. Perfect. Now I need you to take a very large step Forward. If you want, you could even call it a jump. I'm gonna need you to jump forward about a good foot. No, I'm gonna fall. Like, like, take one big step forward. Are you ready? You got it, you got it, you got it. Perfect, perfect. Now take one baby step forward. Now turn your body left 90 degrees. Perfect, now, now shift right, shift right. Like, yeah, there you go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now just walk forward. But careful, because this, this part is a little bit skinnier than the rest. You're gonna walk onto a new piece. There it is. Oh. Watch out. Okay, shift your body a little bit left. <laughs> shift your body a little bit left. Like, there you go, there you go. Okay, now walk forward. Walk forward. You have, like, keep walking forward. No, 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 shift your body a little bit right now. Yeah, yeah, okay. Walk forward. Walk forward. Walk forward. Okay, stop. Stop right there. Okay, now I need you to turn around completely. Turn around completely. And now I need you to fall backwards. What? Fall no. backwards. <laughs> I'm not fall sorry. backwards. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Do it, do it, do it. Fall backwards. <laughs> she did it. Can I take off the bed? <laughs> Hit it. <laughs> she did it. Whoa, I forgot where I was. <laughs> That was so cool, but now guess what? It's my turn. Oh, yes it is. <laughs> so I'll take the blindfold. Thank you very much. 
here we go, guys. They might do a different type of obstacle course. We'll see. They'll let you know. I'm gonna be here, not looking. It's time to set. D, his can you help me? Obstacle course. Can you help me? I can do it. Oh, there you got go. it. I got it. I like it. Hopefully you can listen to my voice. So okay, rotate a little to the right. Okay, perfect. Now you're gonna go on a narrow path right now, right? So you're gonna step forward off of the beanbag, but you cannot touch the noodles. So no, 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 no. Step with your right foot. Good job. Now put your left foot in front of your right foot. Don't. Perfect, perfect, be careful. Don't lose your balance. All right, now do the same thing with your right foot in front of your left foot. Perfect, now left foot in front of, okay, perfect. <laughs> left foot in front of right foot. All right, now feel what's in front of you. A little lower though. Lower, 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 lower. There, do you feel it? I feel it. All right, so you're gonna sit on it. <laughs> but no, 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 like climb on it and then just put your, yeah. Okay, now, so now that you're on it, you can stand up. Perfect, now, you know, step forward. This is not a good idea. Step forward. <laughs> now step forward. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that was there? <laughs> it's just the next thing you have to step on. Now, okay. All right, now, if you thought the other noodles were narrow, <laughs> well, this path is even more narrow, no. okay? So, <laughs> so now you're gonna stand up. Now, rotate to your left. Left. Perfect, All right now. Step a little forward, baby steps, baby steps. Okay, now you're gonna step off of it into a narrow path. Which foot? Um, left foot. Perfect. Now be really careful, because it's really narrow. Yes, okay, perfect. Now just keep it going, keep it going. <laughs> How narrow is it? Uh, you're good, you're good, you got it. Okay. Be careful. We almost stepped on it. All right, all right. Okay, okay. <laughs> no. Okay, it's no longer narrow. Okay, now stop, stop. Shift to the left. You can put your feet together. <laughs> okay. All right. So, come a little closer. Just a baby step, baby step, baby step. Okay, now rotate a little to the right. All right. You're gonna make a big jump. You're gonna give a big hop, okay? Now it needs to be big or you might trip. So, so come on. Is it high? It's a little high, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna need you to give as much of a jump as you can. Uh -huh. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, you did it! Now I did it? Yes! Okay, no, you're not done! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Well, you did it anyways. Good job! <laughs> Let me just say, that was a lot harder than yours was. <laughs> but, you know. 
had to get some payback. Uh huh. So we don't want you guys to miss out on the fun. So when we get on our feet, and get let's up. Get ready to praise, praise and, and worship. worship. He's the one who makes the sun shine. He's the one who puts the moon in the sky. He's the one who hung the star. for AO Kids. That's right. If you're watching this live, that means in two days, on Tuesdays, we have a connect group going on just for you. That's right. And on Fridays, we have our live stream service that you don't want to miss. That's right. For any more information, you guys can head over to our Instagram, AO underscore kids with, with a Z. Z, and find anything you need on there. Give us a follow too. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> We want to say bye. bye. Wait, wait. We should let them hit it for them too. Or is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's always to that one. <laughs> <laughs> hit it. One for them too. Hit it. Don't hit your screen. <laughs>